Can you create a professional website in Canva? Yes, Canva does websites now and you can get started for free. I'll be honest, my impression is that Canva's the design tool for non-designers. Great for schools, useful for small businesses when time and budgets are tight, but it's not usually the choice of experienced designers. So let's see how easy it is to use and have a look at what's possible before deciding whether you can actually build a professional website in Canva. Go to canva.com and sign up for a free account if you don't have one like I've done. And then what will we design today? We're going to do a website. So you can see it's leading us straight into all these different templates. We've got some categories at the top, business portfolio, events, etc. Then we've got like all these templates at the bottom that you can begin to scroll through. Um, and so let's just click start designing and it opens a new tab for us. And it's got kind of all these templates here to begin with that that's what it wants us to do is like the first step or it's got actual just like flat layouts that we can use that are more like wireframes so for the site that we're going to design i'm going to use the assets that we created for some recent videos which is for this travel website Maddie did a 30 minute design challenge with this video and i used it for a tutorial on spacing so that gives us some assets and some copy here to use so let's start with that so this is for an adventure travel website so we could i would probably you know choose some of these sections and kind of wireframe it up and then go from there but you're probably here to see how quickly you can get things going so maybe let's have a look at some of these templates so we can actually just have a search here for travel travel and tourism travel agency and then just sort of look at the options that are here and see if any of these really sort of stand out to us. Maybe go with this one. This looks actually really similar to what I did on the spacing video with the kind of buttons, but they're a little bit more orange. So what we want to do is let's just have a look at this thing. So we'll click preview and it gives you an actual size, this website. So they've got a full screen background video here in the hero section and then all these different sections and about three column deals four points some testimonials and in the footer they've got their contact information okay so it's kind of like everything you need really now what it's doing with each one of these sections is it's actually calling them pages so you see it says they apply all six pages which is what we did so you can create like a navigation for you, but it will just navigate through section by section. So you can't actually create multi-page websites with this Canva um, web designer without kind of hacking it. So that's kind of a negative point against it. These are all one page websites. Let's just flow in the text here and see if we can get this edited and, and get this into our site pretty quickly. Okay, so a weird thing here, I've duplicated this button, but it just kind of sits on top because this is like a, a drag and drop editor. So I can just throw a button over here. This is really strange for somebody that's used to web development and would kind of want things to flow. So now I'm trying to figure out like, well, how do I align these to the middle? And then I need to like, can I use this text alignment thing? Now that's going to align the text there. Position, there we go. Center, but it's done each one. So I'd have to group these. There's a little button there, then click center. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Now what I want to do is I want to add in a space in between. So I'm thinking how I might do this in, in Figma or Framer with some margin or padding but i can't do that so what i need to do is ungroup them then move them apart then group them again and then align this to the center but i don't know how big that gap is it's kind of hacky the fact that it gives us this video in the background means we can just use that i guess so that's sort of one advantage is that there may be imagery which is kind of relevant to like this last one here with a hammock. It could be anything, any sort of trip. So 
probably fine to you know keep these sort of things but really you'd want to be adding in your own imagery and then it's not necessarily going to look as good and that's the key thing about this sort of process where people just have a go at building their own websites you know designers are able to help you prepare great assets which can make a big difference and actually this zoom being at 140 percent is a bit misleading when i'm looking at the size of the type and stuff so i'm going to change that to 100 percent. i can actually here i can just sorry on this left click delete page but it actually just deletes that section i'll flow in the text now for this three column part Again, with this section, there's no sort of flow. So I've got to actually make this whole page, as they call it, bigger. If I want to then make this box bigger. And then I've got to move this button out of the way. But this type is on top of it. Kind of annoying, really. Now, I'm not sure about these fonts. I feel like. Gotham is a little bit wide letter forms for this sort of body copy. So I'm noticing this this template style. So if I click on this, I was wondering if I could change everything, but no, it just shuffles the colors around. So I can just sort of audition different styles until I find one that I like, which is kind of none of these. <laughs> it has lost my colorful buttons now. Maybe that's a bit more legible and I can I can edit the buttons manually. Maybe let's just manually change the font here to something we can do. So we have some recommended fonts here. So you can just click on them and sort of audition the different fonts. Sure, let's go with source serif. That sounds fine to me. Still looks a bit large here, even at 100%. And then I'm going to look at the letter spacing, the line spacing, this kind of thing. You see, this is the thing where with a an amateur designer, or they're not going to know to to even sort of consider this sort of thing. But then maybe, maybe can I just delete these sections? What happens if I do that? Yeah, I can just click and drag, and then backspace. I can tidy this up now again these spaces uh, i'm not really sure now that's the same as that it's giving me a little tool tip then i would just want to change these uh, images it's really not clear how i edit that image so I'm having to like, I'm just dragging this over the top. And this drag and drop always makes me worry about what the code is going to be doing underneath. And, and, and if this is going to be like, just kind of a total mess. hard because you can't see both things at once when you're changing the cropping so you don't know exactly where you've got to go can i select these things and then position them together at the top yep i can use those alignment tools and that works similar to figma maybe need to do something to improve the legibility i haven't changed the copy here with these two but you get the idea so you can see how quickly it is just to replace the information in the templates. So then it becomes your own uh, information and your imagery and things like that. So it is pretty quick to get started. Let's click publish and we've ticked resize on mobile and we're going to click in. I can't add page titles for my navigation menu. Okay, let's go back and do that. There we go. And I'm going to include navigation menu this time and it's automatically done that for me. So you can add a description here, which is something that will help with SEO to some degree, but one page websites and the limits you, you can do with them because you can't play with the code and all the rest of it, they're not going to perform great. 
in terms of searching even though with we've got search engine visibility enabled and, and all the rest of it we click publish and this now is actually the live site so i can click even on this navigation and it will skip through all these different uh sections here so i've 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 got a I've got a website of sorts. There's no rollover states on these buttons. Obviously it's a mess. We'd need to tidy up all the fonts. But it shows you how quick you can do something and then get it online. Let's have a look at it on mobile as well. It has resized this for mobile. It's created a mobile menu automatically. It's put these three columns into one. So there is some sense of it being responsive. However, like these titles here don't line up where it says some of the Andes, Kayak the Amazon, Nordic Ski Adventure. They're not, those spaces aren't, aren't changing. And again, this kind of looks a, a little bit ugly. These images haven't gone to like a full width or something like that, that we would do. So it's kind of doing this itself. And with the template areas, it, it works like the footer here that we've not even touched, but it's not going to be truly responsive and you're not going to be able to finesse that in a, a really sort of granular way. If we try using the wireframes, we can just build this up uh, section by section. So we can go more back to the layout that we've been briefed here in Figma and we've got this hero, then we've got a three column. So we'll look for that. We do add as new page and it goes underneath. I don't know if they've got forms on here. Let's skip that for now. Then we've got a testimonial. Then we've got some sort of statement. And then we'll want some sort of footer. I wonder if we can search here for footer. Okay, let me take a few minutes and see how quick it is to edit something like this. You know what, I'm not going to go through every section here because I think you get the idea, but it is pretty quick to be able to edit stuff. But as a designer, it's kind of frustrating to use. You never, things aren't where you expect them to be. Look, I, I've ended up with a margin on the right here. That's not like half the size like I thought maybe it should be. The, the way you go to change colors and things like that, it's going to be slower if you know how to use something uh, like Figma. And if you're not a designer, you're not going to know the decisions to make, but you can quickly, you know, sort of create these little sections that are kind of passable. We need to fool with this type setting here, make the lead in a little bit bigger on those lines. But it is quick. And the fact that you can then just click publish and you've got a live website, I understand that. And I can see where there'd be uses for it. So can you create a professional website with Canva? Yes. Because if someone pays you to create a website for them, it is by definition professional and people are paying for Canva websites. If you could find enough clients, then it becomes your profession. However, if you want to use a template based builder, then something like Squarespace gives you good looking templates, multi page designs, better SEO tools, even e commerce. However, I'd also say no, you can't build professional websites with Canva or any template builder because the meaning of the term professional is wider than just paid. It also stands for someone who's skillful, competent, or something that is business-like and meets an industry standard. Canvas reliance on templates and its encouragement to use predefined layouts, it pushes the user towards potentially inappropriate results in the name of speed. You can't get the little details right. And a professional website considers strategy before design, before development, and then thinks about scale. It thinks about future updates. Now, if you're a small business owner watching this, perhaps Canva is a, a good tool for you so you can get your business app actually up and running and get some money coming in. But I would encourage you that once you do, to reinvest those proceeds in working with a professional designer because like any good professional, they should make you more money than they cost you. And do I think Canva, especially with the increasing reliance on AI, is going to actually replace professional designers? Well. It's kind of like saying, is AI going to replace lawyers? Well, yes, it already has done when it comes to reading simple contracts or 
drafting letters. But when it comes to something really important, I actually want a professional in my corner. I actually want someone who's going to listen to me as well and be able to interpret my needs and also somebody who knows what I don't know. So what do you think? Can you build professional websites with Canva? Keep the conversation going in the comments. And until next time, happy designing.